Okay, importing and exporting questions into quizzes. Uh, it's relatively simple. Um, go down to your question bank, click on the arrow, and you'll see that there's import and export. The first thing we're going to do is export some questions. So when you want to export your questions, pick a category. And you can actually pick, you see here, naming questions has no questions in it, but it has all of these subcategories. So it will export all of the subcategories within that. So if I export the first year quiz, I'll get all of the subcategories within that. So Moodle XML format is the most universal format for exporting and importing into different versions of Moodle. If you're trying to get them into some other uh, format or some other something like Blackboard or Canvas, you can try XHTML. However, not going to work first off or is probably going to be a little bit tricky. The others then, things like GIF format, don't take all sorts of questions. So they're going to lose things like formula questions. So Moodle XML format, export whatever category you want. It's very useful to write the category to the file so that when you import them into your new course, they're in the same categories. If the categories exist in your new course, they'll be added into the categories. If they don't exist, it'll make the new categories. So it keeps everything organized. So, so click on export. The file will download pretty quickly. So it'll be in your downloads folder. You can see it's going to take a minute for the server to generate the file. So save it. And then once you have it saved, here's some I saved earlier, you can see that, um, you know, it's a relatively small file, 1.8 megabytes, but all the question information is in there. If you have a lot of images, these files will get quite large. So the next thing we want to do is import. So if you click on import, you have to tell it what format your imported questions are in. In this case, they're going to be Moodle XML format. And then it's as simple as drag and drop. So if you drag and drop like that, and then you click import, what will happen is it will import all the questions in there. So rather than importing them straight into a course that I've just done, I'm going to find a different course and we'll import them into a different course. So this course has an empty question bank. There's no topics, nothing in it. And if I go down to the question bank and I click on import, then I'm just going to import the questions. So Moodle XML format, and it's as simple as, I mean, you can click and choose the file that way, or you can just drag and drop. And once it's uploaded, you can drag and drop. You can tell it not to choose the categories or whatever. And um, you can tell it to ignore errors or not but the default settings are usually fine. So import, and we've imported 215 questions. So friend, you can scroll down and see them all there. Not that you really need to, but they're all there. Uh, down to the end of the bottom and push continue. And now you can see inside the question bank in this new course, there are a whole lot of questions and they're all in their default categories. So it's, um, it's very easy to copy from one course to another course. All right, that's all for now. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. The one thing that I would say is that it's really common, even I do it sometimes, is to click on this import button here. That's to import an entire course. You don't wanna do that because then you're gonna start, you won't be able to import individual questions. So make sure you look inside the question bank for the import and export buttons. Okay, that's definitely all for now. Thanks, bye.